Hi everyone, we're going to start off with this look by um, getting some brown body paint and tapping it all over her body so that it looks like it's dirty. <clears throat> and then we're going to blend it out with a any kind of brush would do that just works, you know, fine. She started laughing. We laughed a lot during this tutorial and I told her that liquid latex smells like crap and she didn't believe me until I put it on her face. <laughs> I used some extra um, gelatin that I had uh, used up for some other look. And I just flattened it out or microwaved it again. And then I started to put um, cotton with latex over the edges. I'm pretty sure it would have looked just fine without it, but I wanted to um, add some texture to the look. I'm not sure what I'm going for at all, but that's what I ended up doing. So, And then I just started to, uh, while that was drying, I put black eyeshadow all over her lids. And I just kept on packing it on and just applied it super, super messy and just kept on making a big old mess and I put it under and like all over her eye I just make her have raccoon eyes and then I ended up you know cleaning it up a bit because I went a little too ham on the eyeshadow but that's okay I started to um, what's that what's that called enhance I don't know but I just started to darken up the areas of her face that would you know if you were to look dead or something I would assume those areas would be the darkest and then I also started to do that all over her neck and she made some weird poses in order for me to get that on there but it's okay and then I set the liquid latex area with translucent powder and I started to color it in with this little body paint wheel thing that I got at Walmart I just used like the brown and black colors and used black ish and brown mixed together in the crevices and there she goes laughing again and we had to take a break for Samantha and then I just continued to paint all over the area till I was like satisfied with the color. And then I have I've, I've had this brush for a while, but I've used it so many times that it made up this like weird texture. So I just started dotting it all over her entire body and ended up looking like chickenpox or some kind of disease thing so I, I really like the way it looks so that's what I ended up doing all over the area and I was like this look needs a little something so I put some extra veins all over um, the place where I just you know kind of felt like it you could put them wherever you'd like or not at all I just thought it would give it a little extra something to make it look like it's contagious or infectious or something something gross And then I just went along and started darkening up the areas that I thought were, you know, needed a little bit more depth. And then that is all it and you were all done.